is the $5,000 for the power boost really worth it? Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Cole Culture Automotive video. I'm Blake Cole, this is my brother Tommy Cole, and like we said in the intro, we're gonna be talking about if that $5,000 price is really worth it for the power boost. So Tommy, you're the owner of the truck, do you think that the power boost is worth it? Do you care about the gas? Do you care about the power, the speed? Yeah, those are probably the real questions that should be answered first. Not just is it worth it, but what are the benefits of it? And to see if they're really worth it for you and your life and what you'll have to be doing. Starting with the first one, guys, I think probably the best part of this truck is the speed and power. And it is the thing that has surprised me the most about it. I don't know about him, yes. but it's really nice. So, you know, we've done multiple zero to 60 videos now. Um, one will be coming out in the future or it's already came out. And then one has already came out. Uh, we do it in all the drive modes and the speed and power in this thing pretty crazy it feels very torquey honestly it would almost feel the only reason it doesn't feel faster is because you don't hear it as much yeah like if if you heard it the same way that you heard like a trx or a truck like that you would be like oh man this thing's incredible but because it is very quiet and very contained it, it feels probably a little less fast but when you're in it and it's throwing your neck out those out throws out my neck like yeah <laughs> the, the jokes on that one are too easy huh but um buckle up <laughs> so the speed and power is really good um if you didn't see we just installed a roush cold air intake on this vehicle and it's actually done a lot for us it's made the vehicle much more throaty it's also helped out a little bit on gas mileage which is the next point right i mean the gas mileage on this truck is insane currently uh we're getting in the high 20s since we've got the truck so since all these videos have come out it hasn't even been filled up again yet so got 136 miles left and it's being driven every day yeah so we've had the truck for about a week and a half now and have done all these videos with it driven it zero to 60 did and it's still got about 100 miles left on it and we're still getting incredible gas mileage i mean it's really insane uh i'm on the all the reddit posts i'm looking through them all and i'm seeing people say crazy stuff like they're getting 38 40 well the reason why they're able to do that is because they put it in eco mode and then through their commute they stay at 30 miles or less the whole time the actual engine isn't kicking on for them until it has to to power up the battery again. The economy is something that's really, really great on this. So the great part about this truck, you're driving through your neighborhood, it's nice, it's calm, it's not very loud, but if you wanna take it out and you wanna throw it in zero to 60, make some videos, it's a great truck to have. Before owning this truck, I wasn't sold on Ford. He never really cared about it. This guy got me in going with the Fords. The whole process of getting the Ford is awesome. We'll talk about that in a later video. Once I got this truck, the materials, the engine, the power, the torque, just the luxury of this vehicle, I'm sold. I'm sold not just on Ford, but I'm sold on this power boost because this power boost fits the everyday man and it fits, it can fit the off-roader. It can fit the guy that wants to go and drag race it, whatever you want to do. This fits everything. Tommy's made some really great points there. I, I think this is the everyday man truck. I think that if in the past you were a big V8 guy and maybe you're older in your life now, maybe you have kids, maybe you got this or that, um, not older in your life necessarily on your age, but on your responsibilities, this truck really allows you to have the fun that you used to have the V8s, but it also allows you to be that responsible adult you need to be for your life. And hold that sort of accountability and reliability to yourself in your life. Tommy has always liked trucks. Um, we're bigger guys, we don't really have a choice. But like he said, he never really cared for Fords or anything about it. He stated in the previous video, he actually liked the way that the Rams looked a little bit better. I think this truck is a really great like beginner truck for the guy who's ready to be an enthusiast, for the guy who's like ready to have a little bit of fun. Like this truck is really contained. It's very mild when you want it to be mild and it's very wild when you want it to be wild. Like it is the perfect little thing. Every day I get inside of it, I love it more and more every day. And I've never had a vehicle like that. I've had nice vehicles. Every day I get inside of this thing, I love it every single time. And another thing, speaking about responsible adults, I know he's talked about it before. Our dad had also ordered the power boost. He wants it because he wants to be able to commute with it. And he drives about 30 minutes to work every day. He wanted a truck, but he didn't want to kill himself on the gas especially here in California right now, that fits you as well. Yeah, so that's part of the beauty of my channel, guys, is we're gonna see this truck in its most fun form with Tommy, and then we're gonna see it in its most, I don't know, tamed. adult, tamed form with my father. Tommy's gonna give you sort of the more extreme things that are gonna be done to this truck, and my dad's gonna give you more of the controlled, responsible things of this truck. Not that we're ever gonna be irresponsible with either of these vehicles, they're very expensive vehicles to be that irresponsible for. That's where my truck comes in. Anyway, guys, we definitely think it's worth it. I mean, 
I 100% am sold on the power boost, as I'm sure many of you are. I see you guys in the comments talking about it. I see you guys waiting like how long I'm waiting for my VA still. My videos are making you more and more excited. Matter of fact, I don't know if I've even told you this, but there's a couple people who were looking at getting like a lightning or maybe an all electric Rivian or something like that. And they're like, you know what? No, I'm just going to commit to the go power boost. Go <laughs> power boost won't regret it. I would say it's about a $5,000 price tag on it. I would even have paid more. That's how much I love the power boost. I think that's fair, guys. I think it's fair because... Don't tell Ford, though. Yeah. Hey, don't tell them. They're already charging a lot for these freaking trucks. Yeah. This thing's pretty incredible. We just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>